is back tonight from the Steve Shannon Show on 97Z, okay? Tuesday Trends, fall fun. It's yes. fall fun week. It's fall now, officially. It is fall. It's like a little warm, which I'm okay with, <laughs> but it's fall officially. So you're gonna tell us about some fall fun things happening in the Rockford area, starting with Oktoberfest. Yes, if you like beer, and you like live music and food, Urban Forest, uh, Urban, yeah, yeah, Urban Forest Craft yeah. Brewing. They're having Oktoberfest on Saturday. Okay, in September. Yes. <laughs> I hear that happens all the time, though. Oktoberfest <laughs> is all about beer, and it's uh, German, right? Yes. So I don't know why sometimes it's in September, but I don't think anyone who attends these events cares. They no. just want to have fun. As long as there's, there's an event. Yeah, <laughs> they'll be there. That's a cool looking, like, crest, if you will. It's a cool graphic. Yeah, it is. All right. So that's coming up this Saturday, and then the following weekend, when it is actually October, Cider and Cinnamon Arts and Crafts Fair at Edgebrook Center. That is going to be so fun. Yeah, two days of arts and crafts. And I, I was just on their website the other day, like, it's not a traditional arts and craft fair that I think we think about from, I always think about like craft fairs like my mom would drive me to in the 90s. Mm -hmm. These are way better. There's a lot of people doing um, cool stuff with like local, gifts, and then there's also a bunch of things to get us ready for the holidays, actually. And then there's live music and stuff, too. Edgebrook is really fun whenever they have events. And they've ha been having more, more yeah. often. Fridays, right? Mm -hmm. Was it Fridays? I was driving to, I had to drop something off at the postal shop, and I, oh, yeah. like, the parking lot was fast. I was like, oh no. Yeah, I there's never park? any parking. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good problem to have, yeah. I think, when you throw in an event. And then we have uh, one of the, I guess, biggest reasons that Rockford is on the map when you talk to other people who don't know that much about Rockford. Yes. They know the Ice Hogs. The Ice Hogs season starts up next month, October, yeah. and I'm really excited. I'm probably going to go to every game. Every game, Emily. Is someone writing this down? We're every home game. Notice. <laughs> every home game. Okay. You're going to go to every home game, huh? Yes. Are you a big hockey fan? I like hockey more than other sports. Okay. I understand it more. And is this like an ice hogs thing that made you understand hockey? Did you go when you were a kid or is this like a newfound love? Yeah, growing up my parents always brought me to ice hogs games, my cousins would always go, and then uh, for work we started getting box sweets. Yeah. And I love watching the game from really high boat. That is probably true for a lot of people that grew up in Rockford though, because yes, we have some awesome baseball fields too, but like Rockford ice hogs are really the biggest sports, you know, draw in Rockford and so I imagine like a lot of people who grew up here have the same feelings towards you. They're like, we know what happens in a hockey game. And I really like their theme nights too, like autism oh. awareness. Yeah, that's a really, really important one. And the teddy bear toss, that's yes. really fun too. I looked at their schedule, they're also having a Taylor Swift night this year. Okay, that's <laughs> going to sell out. I think it's in, I can't remember what day, but I know it's um, in 2024, so mm -hmm. I think it's like January or February. But I'm excited to see what that means. Right? I don't think she's gonna be there. I don't. But maybe Highly you know it. our producer in the booth, she kinda looks like her. Maybe she could like dress up like her. <laughs> she could be the Taylor Swift look look. We could, we'll call them. Would, okay. We'll see if they're uh, they're in for like a Taylor Swift look alike contest that would That'd be, be fun. Awesome. That'd be really, plenty of time for that. Really fun. Yeah, so I'm guessing tickets are tickets are on sale for the Ice Hawks games now. Coming soon. The fourth is that pre game, mm -hmm. preseason game. So those have got to be on sale because that's soon. <laughs> and you, can get, then, you can get full season tickets right okay, now, cool. but single tickets, uh, I think you have to wait a few more weeks. Okay, we'll check out their website. We'll, we'll probably be able to find out. What is your favorite thing about fall? The leaves changing. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you like drive around and look at them or you just enjoy them on your regular commute? No, if you go down to Shaw Woods uh -huh. over by uh, Guilford High School, oh my gosh, it's beautiful during fall. We'll take some pictures and tag us in them so we can share them. It's for everyone who is just gonna watch TV and enjoy fall <laughs> through your eyes. I will. I like apple flavored stuff. Okay. I'm here for that. You know, once upon a time, it was only pumpkin spice, and then I feel like five years ago, everybody was remembering that apple's also a fall flavor, yes. and I was like, okay, I'm here for apple flavored everything. Apple wine. Oh, that is delicious. We had it last week. So good. All right. If you've seen any trends on social media we should try or talk about, send us an email anytime. GDS at Fox39.com. We'll be right back with another weekly teacher check-in.